Hi there, Simon from simonwoods.com. I've got a couple of Chardonnays here, um, both 2014. Uh, one's from Burgundy and one's from Australia, the King Valley, to be precise, in Australia. Um, and so I'm, I'm going to do the Burgundy first. And uh, so it's, I'll tell you, but I better tell you what it is, haven't I? Um, it's Bouchard Perry Fils, uh, La Vigne Bourgogne Blanc. So 100% Chardonnay. Not all um, white Burgundy is 100% Chardonnay. There is a little bit of what they call Pinot Bureau, um, and um, or also known as Pinot Gris. There's a little bit of Pinot Blanc. Um, there's even some Aligotte around, and uh, there's probably a few other weirdies in there, which, uh, but we'll leave those for another video. Anyway, better set into the wine, hadn't I? Just open the bottle, and swirling and sniffing it reveals not very much. It still feels really quite close. 2014 was a uh, pretty decent vintage for white burgundy. 2015 was big, voluptuous, and I think if I'd had a bottle of the 2015, it would be jumping out of the glass and going, hello, look at me. Uh, but here, you almost feel the sleek end of burgundy, and um, it feels like there's, a, there's gonna be a, a slight bracing, lemony edge to it. Um, not amazingly complex, but um, yeah, with a little bit of elegance. Let's have a see. Touch of creaminess, nicely textured there's a crispness about it that's running all the way through and then there's this fruit a uh, little bit of ripe green apple a uh, little bit of citrus um and yeah that nice edge of bracing it feels young taut clean um the sort of thing that you want to get out and uh, have with some shellfish and it really hangs around in in, in the mouth i'm going to have another swig because it's a pretty tasty wine Mm, I really like that, um, and um, just it, it does just what basic white burgundy should do. It's uh, it's got flavour, it's got elegance, it's got Christmas and um, freshness. I really like that. So, should I? Oh, I'll swallow this bit. Wine number two um, is um, so this is Brown Brothers Limited Release Chardonnay from the Banksdale Vineyard uh, in the King Valley. Um, in the state of Victoria. Again, 2014, so uh, six months older. Alcohol-wise, uh, people think, uh, you, well, there are still some people who think that white burgundy is always going to be lower in alcohol uh, than, uh, than, than Australian Chardonnay. Uh, so I look at the, the white burgundy and it's 12.5% alcohol. What do you think the Brown Brothers one is? 12.5% alcohol. So, hopefully, going to be as elegant and fine-boned as its predecessor. Let's give it a whirl. Well, this smells more um, slightly jelly-like, slightly more confected. Um, it feels like there's probably a kiss um, rather than a full-on snog of oak here. And uh, the previous one, I, I wouldn't be surprised if it didn't have any oak. Um, and what the, what the oak's doing here is just giving a gentle... Um, slightly smoky, creamy edge. Um, it um, doesn't smell like it's going to be as uh, fresh and bracing as the um, uh, as the Bouchard was, but uh, let's give it a whirl and try. And where the, the uh, Bouchard was that crisper uh, lemon uh, green apple. Here, there's a more richer melony character. There's also a slight smokiness about it, and uh, what I call smoky elderflower character, as if um, it's almost as if the fruit wanted to be a little bit riper. There is a characteristic there that I associate with some English still wines where it's not quite ripened sufficiently. Uh, so um, they've, in order to get the alcohol at that level, I think they've probably picked it a little bit too early. Uh, so much prefer the Bouchard of these two. Well, no, not much prefer it, but certainly prefer it. Um, and um, yeah, Brown Brothers, I think you could have ripened it a little bit more. It's not that it's not, it, it's tasty enough wine, but uh, uh, I think that there was a better wine to be made with that fruit. It feels like uh, it's being slightly reined in, but hey, just gonna have to drink the Bouchard. See you soon.